Hi students, greetings to all. Today I am going to teach you the properties of the polar form of a complex number. Polar form of a complex number. The definition is R and theta b b polar coordinates of the point p of x comma y which corresponds to a non-zero complex number z is equal to x plus i y. The polar form of a complex number p is z is equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta. Here r is called the absolute value r modulus of the complex number z. That is r is equal to modulus z. We know how to find the modulus of z. That is root of x square plus y square. And here theta is called the argument or amplitude of the complex number z. And is denoted by theta is equal to argument of z. That is theta is equal to argument of z is turn inverse of y by x. Now let me explain the properties of polar form. Property 1. If z is equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta. Then z inverse is equal to 1 by r into cos theta minus i sin theta. Now let us see the proof for this. Here it is given that z is equal to r into cos theta plus i sin theta. We want to prove that z inverse is equal to 1 by r into cos theta minus i sin theta. So z inverse is equal to 1 by z which is equal to 1 by z is r into cos theta plus i sin theta which is equal to 1 by r into cos theta plus i sin theta then multiply by the conjugate of cos theta plus i sin theta that is cos theta minus i sin theta divided by cos theta minus i sin theta which is equal to 1 into cos theta minus i sin theta that is cos theta minus i sin theta divided by r into a cos theta plus i sin theta into cos theta minus i sin theta. It is of the form a plus b into a minus b that is a square minus b square. So we will get cos square theta minus i square sin square theta. i square value is minus 1. So we will get cos square theta plus sin square theta which is equal to cos theta minus i sin theta divided by r into cos square theta plus sin square theta value is 1. So we will get cos theta minus i sin theta divided by r. This is we want to prove. Hence proved. Property 2. If z1 is equal to r1 into cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1 and z2 is equal to r2 into cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2. Then z1 into z2 is equal to r1 r2 into cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i sin theta 1 plus theta 2. Now let us see the proof for this. Given z1 is equal to r1 into cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1. And z2 is equal to r2 into cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2. We want to prove that z1, z2 is equal to r1, r2 into cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i sin theta 1 plus theta 2. So z1, z2 is equal to here z1 is r1 into cos theta 1 plus i sin theta 1 z2 is r2 into cos theta 2 plus i sin theta 2 which is equal to r1 into r2 then multiply those two terms we will get cos theta 1 into cos theta 2 plus cos theta 1 into i sin theta 2 that is i cos theta 1 into sin theta 2 then plus i sin theta 1 into cos theta 2 then plus i into i that is i square i square is minus 1 so we will get minus sin theta 1 into sin theta 2 which is equal to r1 r2 separate the real and imaginary part so we will get 
cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 plus i into cos theta 1 sin theta 2 plus sin theta 1 cos theta 2 which is equal to r1 r2 into here cos theta 1 cos theta 2 minus sin theta 1 sin theta 2 is of the form cos a cos b minus sin a sin b which is cos a plus b. So here it is cos theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i into here sin theta 1 cos theta 2 plus cos theta 1 sin theta 2 is of the form sin a cos b plus cos a sin b which is sin a plus b. So we can write sin theta 1 plus theta 2. This is we want to prove. Hence proved. Students, I hope you understood today's session. See you in the next video. Thank you.